all right it is october 30 2023 it is 1 p.m and this is quito ecuador uh this is the teleferico i was here about two years ago for the first time and um for some reason i had my drone with me i had my phone with me but i didn't have uh this camera with me and so i didn't get a chance to record uh anything so really excited to be back this place is um a lot of fun it's really beautiful i love the views um there is a hike uh that takes you to the volcano last time i was here i was ill prepared uh for that hike and so this time i've come back uh, i've dressed a bit warmer and uh and i'm really ready to go uh the other thing that i really like about this um particular place is the cafe that they have um at the um at the uh beginning of the hike and so it's really cool that you can go on this amazing hike and then afterwards you come back down and uh and there's just this beautiful uh restaurant there uh cafe with gorgeous views huge plate glass windows uh to look out and so really looking forward to uh to doing that today i think the last ticket down is at 5 30 so um i seriously doubt i'm gonna make it all the way to the uh the volcano but i'm gonna see how far i can go you know i'm gonna see how far i can go and um and yeah and uh make sure i leave enough time to come back and relax in the cafe uh this is the volcano uh theme park um i actually did a flyover uh with my drone last time i was here i thought it was pretty cool and it's never like super super busy as you can see there's only a couple people there right now i think uh it gets a bit busier uh later in the evening when a lot of lights and everything come out but yeah man i'm really excited to be here i love quito um you know it's it's not a place that i could see myself living long term just because you know i really enjoy being near the beach and uh you see the teleferico up there headed all the way to the top and that antenna right there on the top is just the beginning and the trail takes you much further up you just can't see it from here um but uh but yeah it's a it's a really cool city really nice lots of great food um i actually like the weather i really do it's 65 uh in the heat of the day gets down to 50 at night and that's pretty much year round um so i mean yeah i guess if i did live here i would definitely uh miss the heat i would be ready for some heat but i like the fact that i can be on the beach i can be in my shorts and flip-flops and then kind of whenever i want to it's a 13 dollar bus ride to quito and i can get dressed up i can wear my suits i can wear my sweaters you know what I mean? I can wear my nice jackets, you know, and uh, and enjoy a night out on the town because, like I said, at night it's 50, you know, and uh, because it's the capital of Ecuador, because it's a larger city, there's a lot of uh, concerts and everything that happens there, a lot of events. Um, there's actually an event coming up on, I think, the 11th of November. It's like a Comic Con type of thing, and. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about going, you know, if I can find a cheap place to stay, I may actually do that because like I said, it's only a $25 bus ride back and forth Whew, between here and Monta. This altitude is kicking my butt right now, but, uh, but yeah, lots of museums, a lot of culture and, uh, and for me, this is one of the best hikes in the country. Uh, Las Cajas is probably my second favorite. I'm sure there's some others that I haven't discovered yet, but this one is definitely my favorite for sure. Man. I gotta get used to this, this altitude all over again. It usually takes a couple days. 
Yeah, it's beautiful out there. And the Lucia, the town hall. Can't wait to get to the top and see those views. Quito is a really, a really nice city. It's uh, tucked away in the mountains. It basically runs north to south. It's not a uh, much distance east to west, but it's uh, but it's really long though, and you really get a chance to see that once you get to the top. Is that cotton candy? That's a lot of cotton candy. All right. I was trying to go for seven minutes. Definitely looking forward to the swing at the top, I think that's gonna be fun. And right now, just enjoying these, these views right away. And it's not a far ride from the city, like maybe, uh, well, not from the city, but from uh, North Quito, it's like maybe 10, 15 minutes. I think from Centro, maybe goes like half an hour, maybe a little longer. But yeah, it's easy to get to, for sure. You gotta go uphill for a little while.